No, well, the, the, the whole question of the film started by accidentally meeting Orson Welles in a bar in, in Florence. It, it was a foggy day or something, and they had to land. He and, and another guy, I think he was uh, somebody who was working with him. And I was with some Italian friends, and they recognized Orson Welles at the bar. And uh, the young daughter there said, oh, look, you know, this is Orson Welles. Oh, gosh, I'd love to be able to talk to him. And I said, well, go up to him. He'd be asked for his autograph. You know, he'll probably be quite pleased. And she said, oh, no, I couldn't do that. So eventually I said, all right, I'll take you over. And I went over. And he was very nice and very friendly and gave her an autograph and talked to her. And then she went with her parents. And uh, he and I stayed with another friend talking about films and things until we were thrown out of the bar. And we got onto the subject of Africa and what could be done in Africa and why didn't he make a film in Africa? And he kept saying, why don't you make a film in Africa? And I said, well, I'm not qualified, you know, I don't really think that I could cope with it. And anyway, that, that conversation kind of remained in, in my mind and I, I was involved in doing some um, acting in a film, uh, firstly I, I, in the theatre and then there was a, a company making a film. It was a children's film, actually. And they chose a lot of the cast from this uh, theatre company. And when we started to make this film, which was for the rank organisation, it was children's really real children's adventure story. We started talking about why don't you know why does somebody make a really good film about Africans? Because in those days there really wasn't anything. There might have been a few people making the odd documentary, but we got onto the idea of, of why not a feature film? Why not you know really having a. a um, a full-length entertainment film with, with African actors. And th a group of us, the cameraman on, on the film and uh, the director and some of the other actors all thought this was a terrific idea. And when we got back to Johannesburg, we set up a little company and uh, the guy who'd, who'd been the uh, director uh, who, and also scriptwriter wrote this script. I really wasn't that uh, keen on the idea of a musical, but I gradually got won over to the idea because uh, in those days, I mean, we were living in, in, in a fantasy land, I must say, that Africa as we know it today was nothing like that. I mean, we were hopeful that, that the African situation was going to get better. There was a, a very peaceful situation there at that time, and there was a lot being done for Africans. There was the idea that, you know, they were going to be able to to become more and more active in their own country. And uh, we, we then uh, thought in terms, perhaps we could set up a, a, an all-African company eventually, that we'd actually have technicians, we'd train technicians, and they would be uh, uh, working, and we'd turn it over you know, to a black, really have a black film industry. But meantime, we decided that perhaps the best idea was to make an entertainment film, and not, I mean, we talked about you know, a documentary or something, a serious film about uh, the African situation, but we felt that that would, in fact, be for people outside of Africa, that what the Africans wanted themselves was uh, 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 to participate in entertainment. They were being given entertainment, fed entertainment, by the big commercial circuits there. They were getting gangster films and cowboy films and really trashy things which were bought for very little money and were very profitable for a distributor to send around.